hey guys welcome back to the channel i hope you're doing well guys um today we are doing a delicacy which i learned from a friend who is actually not a ugandan he comes from china and yeah today i want to share this with you so watch this video till the end So you get the red pepper and cut out the seeds. And slice them into tiny pieces like this. But you all know I don't eat a lot of pepper. So I'm only doing this because this is exactly how I was taught. <laughs> If you love hot pepper, you can actually put two. But for my case, I'm only putting one. So like I told you earlier on, this uh, sauce I was taught by a Chinese friend. And yeah, today I just decided to share it with you. And let me know if you know this and how you do yours. And then right here is some spring onions. So guys, I'm going to put this pan right here and go ahead and beat the eggs. So I'm doing this because I want to separate the yolk and the egg white. Let me know how you easily do yours. And I think for me this is a bit challenging. I don't know why. And because I was told this gives you the best results with um, with a local brick chicken. So I had to just pick this from my own chicken in the house, you know. <laughs> So I'm beating the egg white. Um, I don't know which English word to use, but <laughs> you know, I just learned that language. It's not my own, so don't blame me. <laughs> but just know that you're supposed to beat it. I only know how to say it in my language. Sorry. <laughs> so beat that and leave it aside and also do the same for the yolk. I think you notice the color of the yolk because it's a local breed chicken. I mean, local breed chicken eggs. Yes? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to pour this in a polythene bag. I'll 
tie this and do the same to the yolk. I mean to the egg white. So you keep mixing to make sure that the eggs don't like hold together. Like, I don't know how to say it guys, but I think you notice how it's, uh, how it's coming out. And that's exactly how it should be. And that's the reason why we use much oil. Because if you use little oil, it will not make it this way. So we'll do the same with the egg white. So right here we are doing the egg white as well. And that the mixing should be in the same direction guys. That's one thing I've forgotten to tell you. Meanwhile, you could be wondering why I shifted here. It drizzled a bit so I couldn't do this safely with the oil there on the drizzles. I would probably get burned, who knows. So I had to shift. <laughs> guys I've put back the same pan on fire with just a very little drop of oil remember this we already did the eggs were already did with oil and it was much oil so here we just want very little oil yeah just to fry the, the vegetable so we we'll leave it to heat a little bit and then just add this the, the green pepper first Then stir it a bit. Then we'll also add in the, the hot pepper or the red pepper otherwise. I told you I only added little red pepper because it's my test. You can do as much as you want if you're a person who loves something hot. <laughs> but because I'm an amateur in red pepper, mm -hmm, this is all I can manage. Mm -hmm. So we leave the spring onions last and at this point we're going to do this, the egg. Just tie it a bit. Adding the the whites. And then if you can remember, we had not added salt at start. Yeah, so this is now the stage where you can add in salt and maybe um, whatever you want to add in, like to give it your kind of taste, yeah? Yeah. And it's best you just sprinkle the salt so that it will mix evenly. There we go. And I think I also have some black pepper right here. So I'm going to do a little bit of black pepper. I said here you add what you like. <laughs> and also sprinkle it evenly. Just so that it's easy to mix. So 
should also add in the spring onions and rice now we are getting it off the fire because it's actually ready remember you shouldn't leave it too much on fire otherwise uh, you're losing the nutrients the more so right here guys we are done i think you can see some chili there some spring onions there and yeah we are done just like that so guys i tested it from a friend like i told you earlier on and i can tell you i have been doing this and somehow i i could say it became part of my okay it's not like our traditional meal but somehow it became part of what i eat and of course i'm going to try it out again <laughs> it's still hot so i just test a little bit mm. <laughs> mm. so guys you can actually try this and let me know how yours turns out in the comment section come back to the comment section and let me know <laughs> otherwise thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did let me know in the comment section let me know how you always do it if i told you i've done this before if you always don't do it let me know if you've learned it and give the video a like guys ensure that you're subscribed and mm, turn on your notification bells that's for me allow me enjoy <laughs>